five-time defending champions in the Big 12. You've had such a remarkable string of success, uh, really on the back of uh, some of the best offense that we've seen in the history of college football, uh, whether it's been great quarterback play, excellent offensive line play, the ability to run the football, the ability to throw the football down the field. One of the things that's been a hallmark of your offense at Oklahoma is the ability of the offense to morph to what the players are good at. And, and, and that's another, you know, uh, feather in, in your cap. This year, it's going to have to be similar to that. You're going to have a new quarterback. Um, the news is that Kennedy Brooks is opting out of the season. Your running back, Ramaj Stevenson, is, is suspended. Trey Sermon transferred. And so now all of a sudden, you're going to be sitting there with a young core of running backs and a young core of wide receivers, a brand new quarterback. What can we expect out of that OU offense this year? Yeah, I mean, our, our expectations never really change. Um, you know, we expect to expect to play at a high level and feel like that we have the pieces to do that. Uh, there's going to be uh, continued turnover throughout the year for, for all teams. That's part of what we're going to have to deal with. And like you said, we're, we're used to dealing with it before. We've had, in addition to just, you know, what, what you would expect in losing a senior or a guy that's run out of eligibility. We, we've, we've, you know, our guys have been able to play at a pretty high level. We've had a number of offensive players in the last several years that have played well enough to be able to declare early and you can't always plan for that. And so you've had to be willing to adjust and be able to, uh, but we're confident in the talent base we have here. We're confident in, in the coaching staff that we have here. Um, and I think we've got a group that's ready to work hard and, and, and go attack it and understand that, you know, what we've done in the past doesn't doesn't mean a whole lot right now. We've got to go do it, but our expectations remain the same. And I feel like we absolutely have a group that can go get it done and, and be one of the best groups in the country. Your quarterback, um, you know, a lot of us expect Spencer Rattler to be out there for you guys. And, and, and he's a really talented player. I've seen him play uh, in practice. I, I have to at least imagine – that if you're in his shoes, the expectations that you're trying to fulfill as a quarterback of the Oklahoma Sooners with what you've had in, in Baker and then Kyler and the year Jalen had last year, that you know it, it could be difficult for a young player who wants to go out there and set the world on fire. Have you talked to, to Spencer about how you want him to approach the season in terms of the pressure he puts on himself? Well, that's something we all talk about in our room quite a bit, um, that – you know, and, I, and they've had some, you know, those guys have had some great examples. You know, uh, Tanner Mordecai was able to see both Kyler and Jalen do it, um, you know, under, you know, a, in a lot of ways, similar circumstances, um, you know, as far as, you know, their first years to start. Spencer was able, obviously was just here last year and was able to see, uh, to see Jalen and how he handled everything. So I think those were great learning experiences for those guys. And I think they, you know, they've seen that if guys will just, will trust what we're doing, uh, trust the players around them, trust the scheme and continue to focus in and get better on the things that they have to, that the results will take care of themselves. And uh, so that's been, that's been our focus with them. And yeah, I mean, I think you always with any potential, you know, new players, new starters, I think it's always a, a point, uh, but I'm thankful that those guys both had great examples to follow and kind of, you know, they were able to kind of live that behind the scenes. And I think that will serve both of those guys well as we go forward. You and I have talked a lot about, you know, your defense and taking that ne next step defensively in order to potentially win a national championship. Uh, last year, you took a major step forward. Uh, two years ago, you were 102nd in the country in yards per play defense. Last year, 63rd in yards per play defense. Alex Grinch uh, returns as your defensive coordinator, new contract in hand, part of uh, your new deal and extension. Congratulations on that. Uh, but, but your defense specifically – it, do you feel like this is another year where you can make a significant jump on that side of the football? Oh, absolutely. And we, and we fully expect to, um, you know, the, I think one of the biggest jumps that you can make anytime you've introduced a, you know, a new system, really just a, and, and more than a new system, a, a new culture is, is from that year one to year two, uh, because now for everyone other than your, than your new players, which is going to be the same case every year, this is, this is not a, this is not a new thing. There's not, you know, there's not learning. And I, and I think the great thing is there's proof behind it. You know, you take a group that, you know, all of a sudden makes that jump and is the number one defense in the Big 12. I mean, and, and just happens that quickly. It made a lot of game-changing plays for us. Uh, played well in some, in some really, really important games there throughout the season. And so I, 
I think there's, I think it's a confident group, excited group. Um, you know, those results have also led to, I think, uh, you know, the, the recruiting and the, the talent level in that, in that room and on that side of the ball continuing to increase. So uh, we were excited about the jump we made, uh, certainly not satisfied. I uh, feel like we're primed to take uh, another jump like that, and that's our complete expectation. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.